Hello and welcome to the Nerd at Gods podcast, episode 34. All right? Yes, 34. I am your host, Connor Knowles. Joining me today is the Spectacular Sims. That's me. Hey, hello. How you spectacular. doing? Spectacular. Spectacular. Oh, okay. And making his triumphant return to the show, the amazing Yay. Daniel. I'm so sorry I missed last week. We last minute you. is over. Last we, uh, minute. <laughs> We, we missed you talking about your games. We missed uh, all your thoughts on all last week's epic news. But what are your thoughts on the uh, Bethesda Xbox thing? Real quick. Wow, that's a story. That's a story. Man, that, one of the biggest takes here. Got... No, um, awesome. It's cool. Great for people that have Game Pass. Uh, still a lot of unknowns. We'll, I guess, see more as it goes. Uh, like... I, I hear people kind of saying, oh, Sony would do this. They would just make it exclusive um, if, you know, if the roles were reversed. And who knows if Sony would do that, to be honest. But who knows uh, I don't think we need that. Yeah. And we don't even know if Xbox is going to do that. Right? right. So like just a lot of unknowns. But it's awesome. Awesome for gamers, I think. I don't think there's really any downside. I think it'll just make Bethesda better. Yeah, I've been thinking of, of it over the last week. Most excited thing I am for is, is uh, just just Fallout. I want more Fallout games. Give it back to Obsidian, you know? That's the, that's the only thing I can't stop thinking about, you know? New Vegas, too? Or do you I want think... something new? A, a new city, preferably. Like, I mean, I don't know. If they you're gonna never make... have returned, right? To what? To Vegas? Vegas? Yeah, no, um, to, any to any city. No, I don't believe so. Unless the early games did, so. Fallout but 1 and 2? Yeah, yeah, they could have. I don't know. But yeah, preferably a new city. I really can't wait for that. I, I don't know. I think... Uh, cancel avowed you know or whatever that game was called no come on let's, let's cancel get it. It. something cancel. different or make it an elder scrolls game yeah turn it into an elder scrolls change the name that's what, i would like that right you know? and that'll come like out before the other, or uh, proper elder scrolls sims is gone so we can keep talking about this for a second but sure. uh here's that, what that i is the, what I, I would do with the, those teams right since you got obsidian and does the game studios have them flip-flop with elder scrolls and fallout right like uh so like yeah but you don't you want, like, what about Outer Worlds 2? I do want Outer Worlds 2. <sighs> Wasn't Outer you know Worlds I mean? just their best attempt at trying to make a Fallout game, though? It was, but I really enjoyed Outer Worlds. One of sure, my favorite yeah, games was, last year. Maybe they keep the Outer Worlds. Maybe the Outer Worlds is their star field. Like a know? small team? Yeah, sure. It? Or, you know, just, you know, cycle it, you know? But I just would like a Fallout or Elder Scrolls once every, like, four years, you know? Just from one of the teams. I mean, that's what it should be. <laughs> that's what it should be. Or you could flip-flop, do one every two years, you know what I mean? Like, have Obsidian come out with a follow-up Whoa, game, then two much. years later, an Elder Scrolls game would come out from Bethesda, then two years after that, a Elder Scrolls from Obsidian, and so on. That's a lot. We're, 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 we're cool, venturing though. to Call of Duty territory It'd be here. cool, though. That's, that's you a couldn't take a, a giant RPG like that every two years? No. Because there's already some other ones that it is not just going to be them. It's going to be everyone else trying to make giant RPGs, and I got to fit in all these RPGs. That's true. What do you think the uh, most important studio is there? Because I think it's id. That is a great answer. Yeah. Uh, Most important for what? Just like overall popularity, uh, just a great team in general. Like, what do you Um, think the best team? I mean, the obvious answer is Bethesda Studios. I would say the most. I don't know imp- if they're considered that high though anymore. You Not know anymore. I mean? No. Yeah. It, it for sure. I, I really hope the, Xbox can get them back to like that 360 era because the game studios, you know, they will they're just killing they, it. Yeah, especially with the too. especially with the news of them getting uh, uh, updating their engine. I think yeah. that's going to be huge. It's going to mm-hmm. be the next Oblivion jump. And just the uh, money they can put behind it, right? Though, yeah, and the one studio I think that's going to benefit them the most is Arcane getting way more people able to play all their games on Game Pass. Oh, benefit not enough as the most. No, 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 benefit Arcane, just, like just benefiting that, themselves so in particular. yeah, just more people can play their games, they'll probably get more budget to make more games. More marketing, yeah. More yeah, marketing. Yeah, so, great team Arc- that doesn't sell enough. Yeah, I think Arcane's the one that could benefit a lot. Maybe even machine games too, like those two benefit a lot. Okay, cool. Well, that's enough about the uh Bethesda thing. We will now start the show with uh, what we've been playing. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So we always do that. Uh, yeah. Daniel, since you've been it gone so long. Me? Yes. Yeah. What have you so been I've playing? So I've been playing, I don't know if you can see, boom, Hades. Look at that. There it is. Move I around. can see it. You see there me right there. I'm in my room. There it is. I'm in the my room. second highest reviewed game of the year thus far. Whoa, is it really? <laughs> it um, is. So I haven't, I haven't had much time to play. So I played a, I played about five to six hours. Um. 
it's a lot of fun. So the premise, if you like a super giant game, it's perfect. Um, it plays very similar to uh, kind of Transistor, except with like without the more time so than slowing. Bastion. Yeah, like it's a lot about, I've played. I played it's a lot about positioning, which was a lot of Transistor, except you don't really have that time slowing mechanic, and then like speeding it back up. Um, so the, the premise is uh, you are Zagreus, the son of Hades, and you are trying to get out of the underworld. And that's kind of the run, is the escape of the underworld. You're the devil's son, but you're still trying to escape? No, you're Hades' son. Are Hades and the devil not the same person? No. Really? Man, it's a different religion. I thought one was Greek mythology and the other wasn't. It yeah, wasn't Hades is Greek mythology, mythology a, re a religion? Um, I suppose no, that's but it's they're like God. And, show. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a different topic, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you're Hades' son, and there's a lot of cool different gods you meet, you talk to. Some of them are in the hub world. There's only been a few. There's Hypno, the god of sleep. Uh, Nyx, the god of like darkness or goddess of darkness and light. And Achilles, which isn't a god, but he's there in the hub world. You can kind of talk to them. Um, what a unique group of gods. I feel like you yeah. never have. Yeah, and then Achilles, like, is, he's just really cool. He, uh, You can, like, give them things. I, I, I only have been able to give them nectar, but you give them nectar and they'll, like, give you a little keepsake you can, like, bring into every run. So he's like a shopkeeper type guy. No, you don't. Oh. No, you don't do it every time. Like I got a keepsake, so you get nectar, and every god you meet, you can just give them one, and they'll give you something. Sometimes I've not been able to give them any god a different, like give them one a second time to see what happens, because I just wanted to get a keepsake from everybody. Um, so uh, but, what's like the main objective here? You, you're so just you were just out of hell. You're just so you have rooms. And then you'll beat the room, and then two, one or two doors will pop up, and then you could choose which way to go. Right. And uh, on each of the doors will have a symbol, and it'll be whatever you get for the next reward in that room. So one is like gold or this darkness material that you need. Uh, some of them are boons. So you get boons from gods, and that's how you talk to all these different gods and stuff. And all the boons are just your upgrades for the run so if you so like in to, terms of gameplay this whole like strategy type thing that super giant likes to do is there i know it's not the, the, long the strategy time, comes but. from like a weapon so before you go into a run you can get i think there's ultimately six weapons i have four of them unlocked okay so you get whatever weapon and it is the same weapon every time you have like a basic attack you have like a charge attack you have um like a dash attack um, some of them act differently. Like the bow is very distance. Uh, there's a shield. You can do like a charge. You can hit people or you can throw it. There's a sword, his basic sword. And there's also uh, like a spear type of thing. Um, I like the shield a lot. It's really fun. So that's For where all your strategies Captain America is the weapons. Yeah. And then trying to pick boons that will help you and what you want to do. Like, if you really want to be more distance, pick boons that do stuff like that that help you there. I like a lot of the boons that help my dash. So, like, I'll dash and, like, um, Poseidon. If you get the Poseidon dash, it's like Tidal Dash or something. Anytime you dash near enemies, it'll push them away. Um, there's a god of wine. So, that? I forget his name. I forget. But he, all his moves... Uh, give the drunk like thing onto people so they act drunk for like a certain amount of seconds. Sure, they wobble and, and your screen gets a little blurry like every video. No, my screen does I, I make everybody else drunk. Uh, oh, but you can oh. dash into people and they'll get drunk and like have a build of people getting drunk. Um, How's uh, the story over on this game? Good writing. Is there a narrator? Have, there, it is the same narrator. Is it? But okay. I have not met him. I don't know who he is. Basically, it's weird, too, because, like, Zagreus will kind of fourth wall talk to him. Wasn't it Ron Perlman in Bastion? No, it's always the same. No, his no, name's, the, like... The actor, the... Uh, yeah, his name is... He's from Sons of Anarchy. He's also Hellboy. That's that's Ron Perlman. His name is Liam Cunningham. Liam Cunningham. No, I think what his I name is Liam, 
Cunningham. Nothing. I think he's just a voice actor. But uh, yeah, he's in every game. So Zagreus will talk to him like the, he'll he'll say something and he's like, "Shut up, old man." And it's just really funny. Um, the so you like this game as much as like everyone else does? Uh, I want to play more for sure. Like, right. I don't know if I like it more than Bastion. How many hours are you? Five or six. Five or six. Okay. I don't know if I like it more than Bastion. Uh, I'm not sure. Like from what I've seen, people beat it. They're beating it in like half an hour. I think I beat. I think I've I've beaten the first world, and I think there are four worlds or five worlds. Uh, I've gotten I think to the end of the second one. I got to this big boss in the second world, so I think I'm like right there. And you have to do the whole run. So like to beat, I'm get. I assume I'm going to have to beat all four or five of the bosses like in one run. Sure, um, a lot of replay value here. Yeah, of, so oh, you can okay. you feel the progress. Like getting up to that first boss was a lot, and then now I could just kind of beat her pretty easily. Um, but I will say, anybody that is trying to play the game, save your darkness and get Death Defiance like immediately save that darkness man that's what i save it i think I, death I, defiance is like 50 darkness or maybe it's a little more but that is that kind of flipped the game for me it basically gives you an extra little health when you die depending true. on like how much because you started like 50 but you can like make it go higher for that run and stuff you've been playing anything else then these last two weeks? uh no no nothing no i i so I guess for if, if I, I, can, I guess I can't talk about the whole last two weeks because I wasn't even here last week. I didn't have much to play the following week, uh, but I gave Avengers a little bit more of a go because like I had nothing else to really play. Avengers, so I Sims, oh, yeah, my. I Sims is a little happy. Damn it. So so we got I, to I played <laughs> Hard and Captain America. Just was, I just played a bunch, and it, and honestly it made me dislike the game more because I, <laughs> I, I, I yeah I, I kind of see more of the flaws. Of the game. Oh no, it's riddled. Having... <laughs> it's riddled yeah, yeah. with and, and it and it not having like multiplayer like Destiny has, like something else I could do, right? Um but like some of the combat feels fun. Like it I don't like that they kind of it takes so long to get all of your upgrades because it does kind of play better when you get like level fifty character. Oh yeah, definitely, um, yeah. Like you, once you actually get at, like and have a build, just like because you have like a full like, power ups now. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Shit, yeah. Okay. Like I have, I, I basically have a build of Captain America where I'm just trying to get takedowns, get takedowns. I get more heroic orbs, and my brawl, uh, Brooklyn brawl, lasts forever basically because I can just keep doing takedowns. Yeah, that's everyone's like that's everyone's cap. You keep doing yeah. the you do the Brooklyn brawler, you take down, you take down, you, take down, you get the heroic orbs. And then you you effectively just a machine, and then obviously funny, the heroic orb support for everybody. That. Yeah, everyone does it. It's the, it's the main cap build, and then that supports okay, the whole I didn't team because cap support and is the leader. And then obviously that would let me do. I mean, as a Hulk, I would do my. I could talk all day. <laughs> I can talk all day. I do my support, yeah, which then uh, would would uh, then I draw all the aggro as well as taunt everybody. So then. I've got a perk that everybody who's taunted, I do more do more damage yeah. to. Then I have this other ability where I can run at people and just like pick them up and fucking choke slam them. And then I have the big, yeah. I have the big hand clap, which then will just clear a room. Because anyway, go on. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'm pretty much done. It, like overall, like the game, it made me just like the game. Why? Like, Why? The combat just felt better. Like it's just so it's so much more repetitive than like Destiny. Oh, it's so repetitive. Me. Yeah, <laughs> I've done that vault. Like, I've done like people like we're trying to compare this to Destiny. It's not like Destiny one base was so much better. It has potential. It does have potential. I agree. It does have potential. But it's like this game, you're just probably playing Avengers anyways. What have you been playing? <laughs> this game needed at least one more year, I think. Yeah, six months maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I've been playing Avengers, obviously. Um, I've just, I've literally, yeah, that's it. All Avengers, and I'm just trying to do. So obviously, when you finish the main campaign, you get lumbered with like um, end game stuff. So it's called like a reigning supreme end game, and it's like in multiple parts. So like, it would say, oh, do the, do a hive, do a vault, do um, I don't know, collect this, collect that. And then I ran into this like snags, like he's like you've got to finish everybody's iconic mission. So every all six of them have their own like individual story. So like it took me a couple of days to do that because like Captain America and, and Miss Marvel, they have 
like I can't put it. They that you have the to faction. get. Yeah, they have the faction XPs that you have to get. But I'd yeah. like, you know, I'd play. I'd start, you know, six o'clock at my time. My dailies are just renewed. I go and pick my dailies up. Don't get me started on the dailies picking up because you got to go to the Ant Hill, which is a loading screen. To it's then, a destiny thing. Yeah. To pick the to pick them dailies up to then go if you obviously it depends where you start then go to the hover the 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 crime area to then pick them up oh it's an armor and then the faction vendor to then actually get your rewards for doing it is three miles down the crime area it's ridiculous yeah. absolutely oh ridiculous. trust me I know it's a it's a destiny thing it uh, but the thing about destiny is you only go to one place it's just the town mm, <laughs> you don't right, have just... to go to two different hub worlds. <laughs> I mean, hopefully they'll figure that out. Maybe you could just go into a menu or, you know, maybe a computer or something and just pick the dailies that way. I'm, I'm sure they'll have loads of feedback on that already. With, so or just we... be, able to, be able to do it in the Quinjet. Yeah, of course, yeah. Just have a computer in, a, in the Quinjet. That. Have a little yeah. chat, you know, even at the war table or whatever. Like, talk to Hank Pym there. Like, it just doesn't make sense. No. Like. Yeah, they could, they, they're, there are options, I think, that they could because other have. than going to get your dailies from Hank Pitt from the Ant Hill, well, there's no point in going there. I mean, there is a war table there, exactly. But I don't know. But anyway, going back to these ra- this reigning supreme bullshit. I'm sick of saying the words reigning supreme because I've just been, I'm in like this big group of Facebook people. Like they're all yeah. American, or just like. Um. So yeah, I had to, yeah, I did all my dailies first, and then went to do these with Miss Marvel and Captain America. But I couldn't do them for another 24 hours, which was like this is so annoying, so annoying. And obviously they're like lower level because I've not really touched them. But I finished them. Uh, you have to end on the big uh, um, elite hive, which is like, um, which is daft as well. This one, this puzzles everybody. So you have to. It's called the Last Avenger Standing, and you have to go through fourteen floors. You have all five Avengers at your disposal. So if one goes down, you you can go with the next one. And so forth, until you run out of Avengers. I did it this morning. I put it on the easiest difficulty. Apparently the the loot you get. Doesn't really. There's like a two two stats difference. So you all your stats will roll like th- two or three different um, stats. So basically, you'll have like resolve. So basically, melee power armor because it's all daft words, and I always get confused with it. Yeah. And then you get um, you know the, the if you do it on like challenge four, there's probably like two stats in it. So you probably get resolve, valor, and might, and it'll all add up to about hundred and hundred. But if you do it on challenge four. It probably it, it evens out at 102, 103. Like, there's just two in it. But yeah, it did so, the 14 so now that hard. You're, like, falls deep into this game. Oh, what yeah. do you think of it compared to other, uh, what are these games called? Games as a service, as I guess a service. is what we call them. Yeah. I so, mean, what have you played? You played Division. You played, played a little bit of Destiny, right? You I played, played Division Hardcore, and I played Monster. I know Monster. you love Division. And I, I couldn't say oh, I yeah, played I Destiny. Monster yeah, Monster Hunter, Hunter, Hunter and Division were the ones that I put like two, three hundred hours in. So, what is Avengers compared to those? I think Avengers is is baby's first games as a service because for me it's so like accessible. Like you, you basically you run these missions, you get your loot. The all the stats. I mean, I say the stats are confusing. It's just me probably. Like my is melee. Uh, resolve is is crit hit chance. Um, resilience is armor, valor is heroic, but then obviously, three you know three of them will go under your melee build, and three of them stats will go under your defense build and, and range and so forth. And it's just easy. I seem to be getting this loot easier than you know. People are, are moaning about the exotic drops, but the exotic is supposed to drop on the elite hives and elite bolts. I have never seen one. Yeah, because you have to is get further into the best, end. And you're gonna come up and sell them to you. What what power level are you? Um, Average. So my Hawk is one one three one. So you all the gear will go up to only cap to one thirty, but then you okay. have to upgrade the individual one thirty items to one forty. I'm at like a hundred and two. There you go. Cap. I choose yeah. to be at one thirty. Like I have all the upgrade modules. I have all the polychrome poly poly. I don't know what they're called. Um. So, but I'm waiting for that. Until I'm happy with what I've got with Hulk. I'm not sure if I want to be the tanky guy. I'm not sure if I want to be an all-round guy. I, I'm not sure what I want yet. I mean, I'm in, I'm in this group with guys. And we all just think, you know, I was like, look, I'm, we're all going to be running this raid together one day. What do you want from me from this Hulk? Um, I had to, going Stealth back Hulk. to, pardon? Stealth Hulk. Exactly. 
But I went to so doing this, going back to this iconic missions with to do finish the reign of supreme. One of them was like you need to get your Black Widow to like power level forty, which is like a three, maybe a two hour grind, which was annoying. But I managed to get that done. So I'm having a good. I don't know. I think it's just game. It's just baby's first RP, um, games as a service. I just say. I'd, I'm not as overwhelmed as I was on Division. Like you, you're like, oh, what if I, if I put this stat on here? What does this do? And, and then Monster Hunter was like, that was the pure grind of like you, the, the the drop rates of the gems that you would get on Monster Hunter. You just like, and after like a two, maybe an hour and a half uh, hour hours battle, trying to battle like this like Nergigante Nergigan, like god tier level, and then to get nothing. But this one, you seem to be just be getting good stuff. Like if you if you want to hit them at elite bolts and elite hives, you're getting the good drops, and obviously you can keep farming them over and over and over again, which then comes into the repetitive nature of it. So is that kind of where I've been seeing a lot of people calling it a kids game comes from? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Not that that's a bad thing. No, I mean, of course I'm not. Especially like for a big dumb dumb. We played the shit out, crash in a few hours, so it's like uh, exactly. Oh kids yes. Games are great. Oh yes. I need to beat Hades. Because Crash is yeah. going to be here. Yeah, that's why I, I have just beaten the game I've been playing, which is Super Mario Galaxy on the uh, Super yes, Mario you 3. Oh, you finished it? Yeah, I did. I, beat, uh, I need I to get that. I need night. to get that trilogy. Oh, yeah, it's great, man. So, yeah, I was talking about it last week a little bit. Um, I think last week I forgot to talk about how it plays in handheld mode, the game. Yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I, I think I didn't even try it, but I have been playing it a lot more in handheld. I took a long car ride last weekend so i ended up playing it for like a few hours but uh in handheld it's way better than because you don't have to use the motion controls anymore so I, last week i was talking about how you have to use the motion controls with the pro controller and you got pointed at the screen like this and it's just it's very it no. feels very awkward i know you don't like that no. yeah <laughs> that's what i that's the first thing i thought is like if daniel plays this he's gonna fucking hate it yes yeah. I know. <laughs> there I are know. certain levels that require you to use it but it's not like so have you played super mario galaxy daniel no, my okay. bro- my brother played one and two. He's so, really young, and I I just got him for him. There's not too many things you have to use the motion controls for, but the, the, there's these star bits throughout level, yeah. right? That you have to pick up with it, right? And you, you don't even necessarily have to pick those up, but you, if you get enough of them, you unlock more levels with it. So you do you are encouraged to pick those up, right? And then there are a few levels where you have to use the motion controls and point at the screen and do shit. And those levels play awful in this collection, just with the pro controller, just terrible. It just doesn't work. I'm sure it'd be better with the Joy Cons. We talked about that last week. So that pretty much be the same thing as the uh, Wii controller, right? Nunchuck. Yeah, Nunchuck, whatever the fuck it was called. And uh, but I just don't want to even try that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Got to use that no. pro controller. No, the plays great when you just use the pro controller. controller. And the cursor does go away. You know what the cursor reminds me of is uh, Captain Toad. Remember that game had that like big yellow cursor? No. Yeah, to like turn if you had to turn the uh the environment, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that yeah, was part you of kind of had to like grab it. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember. But yeah, then in handheld, it's uh you just swipe the screen with your finger, right? It just becomes touch screen if you want to pick up the star. Oh button. yeah, that sounds yeah. so much. Better. <laughs> yeah, oh better. yeah. Better. Yeah, and the game looks fantastic too. In in handheld mode, it's just uh I don't even think it was running in 720p on the original Wii, right? Like, could, uh, we, could we do that? No, the Wii wasn't in HD. Yeah, I didn't think so. So, yeah, it was. It didn't even look as good as it looked on uh, Wii as it does on handheld. Was so. it, or no, maybe the Wii U or the Wii was? I don't remember an HDMI on the Wii. No, there was never so, an HDMI on that Wii. Never in a million uh, years. Wii, yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, it plays great. Uh, just beat it. Love the last level. It's great. There's some levels in there. Like I said, the ones you got to use most controls are god-awful in this collection. And they used to do, like, two more than one. I do like two more in one. Two is a better game. Two is my favorite 3D Mario. If I had to pick Ooh. one, yeah. Uh, I do like Odyssey more than this after replaying it. I always thought I liked Galaxy more than Odyssey, but I do like Odyssey more than Galaxy. Who knows? Maybe I end up liking Odyssey more than Super Mario Galaxy Two after I replay that one because it's been so long, right? Yeah. Two thousand. Did you? Two thousand. Have you played Sunshine or Sixty Four? No, I haven't started either of those yet, just because Crash is coming out. I'm like, surprised no. you didn't go to Sixty Four first. <laughs> I, I'm not the biggest fan of Super Mario 64, if I'm being honest. How uh, dare you, sir? How I know, dare I'm you? Sorry. I'm sorry. I never owned it as a kid, and then when I, I never played it and beat it until the Wii, the, with that virtual store, or whatever it was called. Uh, I played console. it like that, yeah. So I don't, Super Mario 64 never really been my thing. And then Sunshine, I've played very little of it. Like, I, I remember I had this friend that was like obsessed with that game. He had a GameCube. 
because that was probably like his only game on there. I'm really looking yeah. forward to getting this this collection. Like, I was me born. too. I'm so excited. I mean, it's in this room. It's in this cupboard, man. It's a great collection. I mean, like I said, my problems with there are just like the low amount of effort they put into doing anything with these games. They couldn't even make 64 widescreen. I mean, that's just the That's biggest. really Is annoying. there like pictures or something? Nah, it's just two black just bars. Black lines. Uh, they couldn't do pictures or that something? Like, uh, I know, I couldn't do like anything. Like the old Mega Man games, are, they have to be uh, three by four, th- uh, four by three. But they probably so have they, cool artwork on the side yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It is so, just yeah. black bars. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I, I do wish 64 was just a full-on remake, though. You know, uh, maybe for the 50th anniversary, they'll do that. 40th, I don't, I don't know. How far away were we? What were they on? 35th? 15 years? Yeah. Be a old as fuck. Sims will be dead. Daniel oh. will be uh, <laughs> Why am I? I'm, <laughs> I'm why the am president. I? Whoa, Sims is dead. I'm the president. <laughs> hey, man, the future's crazy. Sorry, yeah, that's, you, uh, that's you died nice. in World War Six. Weird. You know, you were a medic, though. You were great. We all cheered for you. <laughs> and with that... We will move on with the news because that's all I've been playing. Okay. Okay. First up, where do you guys want to start, man? We got a lot of good things here. We do. Um, I I'll tell you where I want to start. Where's that, Daniel? You pick. I did. Where do you want to uh, start? Uh, Smash. I want to start. Nope, right here. Look at my little icon. You see it Look right your there. Little icon. Okay, sure. See it? Yeah. Sega is making a live action Yakuza movie. Yes, it is. Yeah, we don't know too much about this thus far. We do know that the creator of Yakuza is... Why are you shaking your head, Sims? Because I was going to mention something. What were you going to mention? Ahead. Well, you, I was going to change it into I what you've been you watching. Uh, what was he saying? I watched that console was. I know, obviously, with Sega, which is decent. Oh. Really good. Really good watch. Fantastic. You could talk about it for a second. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was a very good watch. Like, I watched it, and I, 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 the kind of funny games cast was like, Console Wars review. And I was like, this could be a whole hour talking about something I've not watched. Anyway, I watched it, and then it was like a 10 minute thing at the end of the show. I was like, really? But no, it was really good. It was really interesting. Like, it, it mainly on the side of Sega side of, side of things, of like how Sega were trying to tackle this, this Nintendo games console. And and you know these these um this I can't remember Tom Kleninsky or something that they hired, he was like he used to work with all the toys you know really good marketer like sold the Barbie like to um know. have you seen High Score on Netflix? No, no, I was going to. They mm. they have like a part of an episode that deals with the same thing, mm. um and they talk about that that little bit of a war. So you should watch uh, High Score. I've been meaning to. I was like I've, I've been looking at it. Yeah, it's, it's it's really fascinating. Like watching Sega just like come in and just take over, like take Nintendo's like candy away from them. I mean, you know, obviously they didn't do it too much, but they obviously they had that edgier. They were the edgier company with the with the big boy yeah. games, other than the Sega, Sega, Sega. That's what they said. Like Sega, it was dead weird. I yeah. never, I've never heard them say Sega. Like it was always just <laughs> Sega. That was all. That's all I knew. Like, yeah, was the boot screen. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it was it was very interesting watching like them come in, be the edgier company, you know, have their Sonic versus their Mario, and and you know, take the cheap shots, and then and then l- like learn about this like war in Sega of America versus Sega of Japan, and, and like Sega of Japan would just seem to be jealous of like Sega of America's success because just Sega of Japan just wasn't selling that well. And every one of these ideas that Tom Klin- Tom Kleninsky had, like the the head of Sega Japan, apparently everyone was scared shitless of him. He just in the end he was just like, I think Sony had approached him and were like, we you know we want, we can do something with you, Sega. And he was having none of it. And then obviously then the sixty four came out and they had a Saturn, which was like a hundred dollars more than all pe- the Sony PlayStation and the sixty four. And obviously, it just all goes. Yeah, it's really it's fascinating. Like I learned a lot, learn a lot, and obviously their decision for um, Nintendo's decision to not have no bloody Mortal Kombat for to then have the Genesis. Uh, yeah, and then with the, with the blood, and then yeah. they took them. I think they took them to court over something. Oh no, it will come out with the violence in video games, and so like they're in court. There's this one bit. Like I think one of the Nintendo employees jumped ship to Sega. So they're in court, and they and Sega for oh, well, what you, what you can do to represent is you can go in that courtroom right now, and then obviously defend Sega's honor while standing next to your old old boss. So this court, this guy was like, you know, Sega has blood in it; it's, it condones violence, etc., 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 etc. And then Sega, the Sega boss was like, yeah, but you have this, and they pulled out that big light gun, 
and then it was it because like they, you got this gun that you you know you giving kids like guns to hold. It was fascinating, absolutely incredible. And obviously then it all fell apart. And then one guy went to Sony, and then it, and then the Dreamcast came out. And we don't want to talk about the Dreamcast, do we? Uh, some that. people do. Some I enjoyed people. the Dreamcast. I never played it. Sorry. So Sega. back to the Yakuza story. Uh, so yeah, Yakuza movie is being made. It's in development. Um, series creator Toshi. I'm gonna fuck up this name real bad. Toshiro Nagoshi. Hmm? Uh, I'm not looking at it, but sure. it, it sounded okay. Sounds good enough. Why not? Yeah. Uh, he said he won't let this movie move forward without his his go ahead. You know, he wants to see all the material that's going into it. He he's got to approve everything, exactly which sounds good, want. right? Right, exactly, exactly what you want, yeah. right? Um, I don't really know where you go with a Yakuza movie. Maybe you just follow the games. Zero. Start you, with Zero. Think so? Yeah. You think you you follow the story of the games? Because I was yeah, thinking more it's just like going to just be called Yakuza and this is just going to be like I mean, a, what is it going to be? A, a different, different, entire different story with Kiryu? I don't think I can so. see that. It's yeah, just hard weird. to go through the story with those games because they're so long. Yeah, I mean... It, it depends on what their plan is. I think that they can make zero into zero just through one seven, movie. man. Be eight zero what? Of this. Zero through seven. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 This. And the yeah. zombie game spinoff. They could do that. I mean, they could do the Kiryu story. They could do one movie for each. They'd have to cut out maybe some of the goofiness and maybe have some, but because so, like I said, this is a pretty serious franchise. This now adds to the giant list of video game movies in development. There's just so many right now. And yeah. TV shows are getting huge. I'm almost surprised that this wasn't a TV show over a movie. It would, I think it would be a better TV show. I do, too. You can I, have, like, one on the all video games would make better TV shows. Yeah. 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 They could do some real goofy stuff with, with it being a TV show. Sims, any thoughts on this? You excited? You stoked, man? I can't wait. Can't wait. Sims is stoked. I mean, who doesn't like kung fu movies? Come on. Just carry you beating everyone up. Come on. It's pretty much all it would be. Who do you guys want to play yeah. Kiro? Uh, fucking Kiryu. Kiryu, whatever. Jon uh, Snow, I was thinking. You know, if, if it depends on if they want to lean a little older. Uh, I'm thinking like Donnie Yen, but he might be a little too old now. He'd be too old, for sure. But Donnie Yen would be awesome. Um, That'd be great, too, yeah. Jackie Chan. Japanese actors I can think of. No, you know who I want in it? I want the guys from The Raid to be in it. They're not. They're all like Cambodian. Sure. Or Indonesian. They're Indonesian. But, like, the main dude from the raid would be awesome to be, like, a villain in it or something. Um, but he can't, he can't, like, hear you. I don't know a ton of, like, Japanese um, kung fu guys right now. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I'm I guess they, sure they could do the back. guy. No, never mind. You I, don't I think thought they're I just going to cast a white guy? No, it'll be, it'll be a Japanese I guy hope. that could do kung fu. I, <laughs> I could see, I don't know, man, Hollywood. Being some white dude, like, yeah, the John Stamos is. I mean, I guess it could be uh, Keanu Reeves, Jason Statham, Jason Statham, <laughs> Jason Statham. <laughs> Jason Statham. Just a bald guy running around, yeah, yeah, in just a suit. <laughs> uh, okay, any other thoughts on this? No, unfortunately, uh, Daniel, I am. Uh, you're probably excited, right? I've got no yeah, yeah. Why not? I'm you happy for Daniel into the uh, Sega Cinematic Universe and Yakuza and Sonic crossover. Oh man! Oh my see. God! Kiryu cool. and Sonic back to back fighting. Sonic's, <laughs> <laughs> Sonic's got a giant dragon tattoo on his back. Oh, he, he ripped <laughs> off like his shirt and he, has <laughs> he whipped out his fur. <laughs> that would be amazing. I would love that. Okay, next I want to talk about Spider Man, and we got a lot to talk about with okay. Spider Man. Show me pictures of Spider Man. Okay, where is Spider Man? So first up, let's start with the redesign that was revealed yesterday. Uh, so the Spider-Man remastered that's coming out alongside Spider-Man Miles Morales on November 12th with the PS5 launch uh, that you can only get. Well, we'll talk about where you can get it later. But uh, they, they redesigned Spider-Man for the remastered version of the game. Uh, I know there's some other things going on with the game. They added ray tracing. I watched the trailer. I didn't honestly see a difference, but you know, I'm not looking at like a side-by-side -side of the other game. But yeah, it looked good. Um, I'm excited for this remastered. And uh, as far as the character design, eh, I mean, it's, I think it's I think fine. He looks fine. 
Yeah, I think he looks fine, right? I think if this was the original design and they switched to the older one, like if the roles were reversed, right? I think we'd all like riot, <laughs> you know? Because like, surely I think the other one looks uglier. But it's sure. just, we're all so used to the other one now. That's that Peter. We, yeah, yeah they, like that's our Peter in that game. And that way we see this new one uh, and he just looks like a, a little bit older Tom Holland. We're just kind of like, eh, what's going on here? Sims, you're Mr. Spider-Man. So what do you think of the character design? I don't personally have a problem with it. I just I think what I think what the I think what it was was the shock and all of it. It was just like it was just there. It was like boom in your face. Like oh they've changed they changed the actor or changed the the face. Yeah, it's like a new face model or something. Is what they said. And it, and it's just like it's a bit just I don't know. Maybe if they just tweet out. Maybe if they just let us know a couple of months ago. It's like look, unfortunately we can't because you want because we want the best experience for you guys. With the new PS5 tech and etc. 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 The face model will not you know, with the with the voice trace the voice I don't know, the voice and the, and obviously the ray tracing, obviously the lighting on his head. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But maybe they just needed to redo it all all again or I don't really understand why they changed it, but I think it's to I do maybe with... maybe it was a deal with the actor, maybe they couldn't come to a term with him signing another contract or something. I think it's something to do the voice with... actor? No, is the it, guy that does the, the face model of the original. Oh, okay, okay. I think it's something to do with like the 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 sinking of the lips and stuff, and obviously with the new yeah. tech in the new tech in it, it just didn't look right, and they just need to get someone else. I could be. I swear, I've heard this story. I swear, it's like when they the animated story. the mustache off Superman in that Justice League movie. <laughs> The, the most important thing is it's still Yuri Lowenthal doing the voice. Of course, That's yeah, it doesn't. I mean, because you're not going to see his face a ton unless no, he is being. And bitter. you do see his face quite a lot, but. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. and a lot of the cutscenes. I mean, how Daniel, many players? You don't mind the redesign too much? No, it's just it's I I I don't understand why it happened. Right, it's just you know, a strange thing. Like I don't get too. it. Make him just look better. I don't know, but keep it the same. Maybe it is contractual. I don't know. I think it's more of a tech thing than anything. Mm -hmm. So then, keeping with Spider-Man, there's a whole fucking fiasco going on here with how to actually play the spider-man remastered edition or if you can even play it with your save or if you can even play it well so i was gonna draw like a web thing going on here and like a notebook and hold okay, it up I have a web <laughs> and how to play this game so i think i got it down though okay so to play spider-man remastered you have to buy the ultimate edition there's no other way to get the remastered that's version. right on ps5 on ps5, on PS5. You can or, I mean, there is no remastered version for PS4, so yeah. Okay, sure. So you can't carry your save over from your PS4 version of Spider-Man to the remastered version of Spider-Man. But you can play your version of Spider-Man backwards compatible on PS5, which will carry your save over. That was confirmed. Like, Why? Yes. Huh? Why? I don't know. Hold there on, will be so slight I, updates there. So you so, could play your same version of Spider-Man PS4, but it won't have the remastered enhancements. It yeah. won't have the ray tracing no. or the character. It, it, it'll have, the, that it'll have the SSD tech there, won't it? It will load faster. It'll be slightly better, I'd assume, just because it's of the be PS4 game. Yeah, we'll, we still have to see how that all works, right? But it, you can play it on there through that, but you will not get the remastered version that way. So there are basically three ways to play this game. You can play it on your PS4, you can play it backwards compatible on your PS5, or you can buy the Spider-Man Miles Morales Ultimate Edition for $70, which is kind of weird, for an extra 20 and then get the remastered version of the game. Which you say doesn't... Your save will not no, carry over. and that's that expected, isn't it? Because it technically, it's a, it's a brand spanking new game. I don't know if it's expected. I don't even know if it's right, but, I mean, it's what's happening. <clears throat> it's a new game with new assets. Obviously, there's a new, African, there's a new face in it. And like... Yeah, but it's the same game. Is it? Really? Sure. Is it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they probably the should have been able to find a way to carry your save over. That doesn't bother me in the slightest, though. Doesn't bother me either. I mean, because we're crazy people, and we just want to platinum it again, right? No, well, yeah, 100%. I'm not even gonna play the game, so I don't even care. Right. I can't but wait. I, this whole thing is just absurd. So, Daniel, real quick, you have no interest in playing this again. No, why would I ever play it again? I whoa, oh, 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 son! Trophies, Daniel. Read the trophies. room, lad. Like what? What do you mean, read the room? Read the. We got the trophy I hunters themselves. Right. I love Spider-Man PS4. I don't want to play it again. Why? I that game. To be fair, if there weren't new trophies, I wouldn't play it again either. Oh yeah, like, me I too. Beat the game. <laughs> I'd Miles Morales. I have Miles Morales. I'd rather just play that. Like I beat that game already. I'm I, genuinely thinking about game. playing Spider-Man first. No, I understand Daniel's point entirely. 
But there are a new set of trophies, and I really want to get the platinum. Again. Sure. This whole save debacle is ridiculous because, like, I've had no problems because I play most third party on Xbox, and I've had yeah. no problems with saves on Xbox literally ever. Like, my best friend has had a couple problems with like losing a save, and that's just happens sometimes but i've never had save issues and just to see all these people being upset because of this it's like they should be because it's ridiculous i yeah, mean it's, a crazy thing. it's like with the with the avengers like, so go back to the avengers so like the avengers is not i found this out the other day like it's not it's not saved to whatever avengers server there is like destiny you can you could i could load that up at your house and yeah, with my profile yeah, and it Bungie just gets it off it. there. And then I think I don't think yeah. Monster Hunter is. But I know Division is, maybe. But this one, like there's been a lot of corruption saves with the, obviously with so many bugs in the bloody game. Yeah. Um so obviously everyone's like, Well, does this carry over? Like obviously they've confirmed that Avengers will go straight to PS five. It's I mean, don't get me wrong, they've not said yes or no, but everyone's just like worried that they're not gonna say yes. But, yeah, what's the point of you getting the PS5 version if it doesn't carry your stuff over? I mean, I'm yeah. sure maybe you know maybe seventy seventy percent they're going to say yeah, don't worry about it. But there's still that chance of ooh, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? The Avengers is weird in particular because theoretically they're just if you have a digital copy of Avengers or whatever, or even if you have the disc, you're just putting it in your PS5 and then it's making it the PS5 version, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I, I don't understand why your save isn't carrying over to that, just like automatically. I mean, that's- yeah, that's the I pick. suppose we don't know if it is, like Sims just said yet. I mean, they, they haven't confirmed everything, but... Uh, but, you know, but someone's got but to A month here. and... What? We're a month and... For me, a month and 19 days away from just, having... We're just getting more and more questions. <coughs> you know? Yeah, we really need, like, a UI breakdown from Sony and, like, a whole... Your saves, your games, everything. Yeah, they've, Sony's always had issues with saves, though. I, I've heard a lot more issues with, with their cloud save stuff. Yeah, no, I've never had a problem with saves. No. Uh, so besides that time, um, Concrete Genie crashed on me and deleted my, corrupted my save data. But, uh, Concrete Genie? Because I just broke that game. I need to play that game still. Yeah, I'm, Natalie just played it. Um, so going back to the Avengers that quick, like because of the local save thing, and obviously because it's like running like a daily schedule, people are just like saving their saving their data and then just going back a date and then just redoing their dailies. Say that again? Okay. Uh, so because obviously I, I know you, what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Like so basically because it's yeah. so, not lo- it's not saved up, up above to the clouds above, it, mm-hmm. the people are like uploading their save to the cloud. I can't figure out they, there's there's a it's, there's a way of doing this. I think I'm butchering it. And then obviously then taking their hard save and just going back in time with it. And then just redoing like a lot of effort. The, they're like because if you if you do elite villain sectors you get um, the polychorons Polycor- or whatever, and they upgrade, like, the big, like, the... Oh, my that God. orange thing. This game makes me sound like a riot. Your artifact. Your artifact. Yes. Right? Yeah. But and obviously then um, you can do, like, the daily... Like, I don't know. You could just keep doing the elite hives. I don't know. And obviously... But it just doesn't make sense. Why is it not in the clouds above being looked after? It should everything should be in the clouds above looking after us. <clears throat> if you ask me. Amen. God's looking after our saves, you know. Yeah. Just to tie this into uh one of the other stories since we're pretty much already talking about it. There's a whole debacle going on with uh PlayStation saves carrying over to PS5. We really don't know. Yakuza like a dragon and NBA 2K21 have been confirmed that you cannot carry your save over from PS4 to PS5 or just to the different version of the game. So we don't really understand why yet. Like we were just saying, Sony really needs to do like a presentation on this. But Spider-Man Miles Morales has been confirmed that if you play the PS4 version, you can carry that over to the PS5 version. So, this, so that doesn't make any sense. Case by case basis. Yeah. Here. It's uh, like, it's very strange. I don't understand what's going on then. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they just figured it like, out somehow. I don't know. Like, yeah. I, I, like They also just came out that Yakuza is going to be coming out on ps5 that's the only version that's going to be in march or whatever right but the series Ever. x version comes the out ps4 the, xbox the one series x yeah the other three versions of the game are all coming which out. is strange because theoretically then there's already an XM version made right with the series x version yeah yeah so why wouldn't that i don't know it's very weird right i just like xbox has not said that they've had any problems bringing anything over 
No, it seems like that smart delivery system is just going to simply carry it over through the cloud like you'd expect. Yeah. So, like, I don't... Is Sony just having a problem with doing that? Yeah, I don't, maybe it's hard for the developers the to issue? figure it out. Sims, I know you're upset about this somewhat. My hope is that you... I mean... Surely go, with the ventures, they have to figure that out. I mean, my hope is, like, all of these saves, they just go up into the cloud and then... You know, in the cloud, they've got obviously it's going somewhere in it, and then that that just converts it and then just sends it to the PlayStation Five. Surely that would be easy enough to do, right? I mean, Xbox does it. <laughs> do you know what so I mean? Like, I I, like props to the Xbox. Don't get me wrong; I'll be playing downstairs. Come upstairs, continue as I go. Like on the PC, I did it with um, I can't remember. Tell me but, why. Yes, yeah, uh, and, and you know, I'll play upstairs. Like, and. It's easy enough, and it'll be done. It's just the quietness of it. The, I mean, they've already said they we're going to see the UI. I mean, I saw rumblings that we're going to see a lot more PlayStation stuff uh, next week because um, I think people are starting to get them. I'm surprised about how much Xbox coverage we didn't get. I mean, we got backwards compatibility, and that's it. No, I There's thought probably we were going to get so much they can say. Yeah, right of now. course. But they I thought have they'd it. have one. I thought they'd do it every day. I thought you'd have backwards compatibility. Oh, Monday, Tuesday something, Wednesday something, Thursday maybe something. Maybe next. Maybe next week they'll be like the next wave. I just expected them to keep the consoles because obviously all these um all the influencers and IGNs of the world they've all got the consoles already. Oh, I thought I, they'd have I to have, send them back. I have mine. Do you want me to, to get it? Oh, you got your Series X, Dan. Uh, yeah. Oh, I figured Phil sent you one. Yeah, yeah. Me and Phil, we go way back. Way back. We yeah. went to elementary school together. I'm not going to lie, oh, yeah. I'm feeling I'm like actually much, much older. That's oh, weird. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. I'm super nervous about these saves as well. Uh, give me real bad. Is there anything in particular that, that you're Hearts trying? So carry over. Huh? Just Kingdom Hearts? Is that, I, was so I need Kingdom any- Hearts because I'm still working. I, this is mostly a problem because I go for trophies. Uh, right. So Kingdom Hearts, I'm worried about because I'm like halfway through Kingdom Hearts two. That platinum, and if that doesn't carry over, I'm gonna be pissed because that was like 50 hours. Uh, Tony Hawk, super fucking worried about because uh, I'm getting closer and closer to that platinum, and if I can't get that, I'm gonna be pissed. Just and keep then, playing that PS4 until you you platinum it. I'm probably gonna sell my PS4 if they get the PS5. That's what I do. Uh, I see. And, and well, especially now how everything's very transferable. There's yeah, really and it's like why would I need it if it's gonna play all the same games? You know. Sure. And. uh those are pretty much the only ones I'm worried about, which are two very weird ones to be worried about. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Shuhei sitting there, or no, Herman Hulse is sitting there like, oh man, Connor's real worried about these saves for Kingdom Hearts <laughs> and Tony Hawk. We got to fix this, guys. <laughs> Super specific. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's just the, the no Avengers, I guess. Like, there's nothing... Yeah, there's nothing I'm too worried about, mm. though, right? It's like if my like Skyrim save, then even I don't know, talk about 360 game, but I have a huge Skyrim profile on here, right, with like 100 hours in it. If that did carry over, I really wouldn't be that bothered because I already got the. Oh man, I've just realized like my my, my Skyrim's gone. Like, where's it? That's a shame. Where's that game? You know, on the 360, you? like I had that like 100 and some odd 200 hours ago. Me too. It's just gone. Yeah. Oh, the 360 one. See, that I was more upset about that I couldn't carry that over. Oh, man, I played that game for so long. Yeah, me too. Isn't it good when a game just gets you? Just grabs you. I didn't even beat the main story. I played so much. You didn't beat the main story? story. No, I did not. Did anybody do that glitch with the book? With the what? There was a book that you could glitch. A what? I never glitched anything. Um, The only... I book the only two things I did was make a bunch of iron daggers to get my smithing up, then and going to one of the temples and sneaking behind the guy until my sneak got a hundred percent. Those are the only two like kind of like. There was this mission we, where you oh, met this woman. The smithing one with the daggers. Yeah, yeah, easy. And then you sell it and you just keep doing it. There was this mission with this book where you could, um, if you closed it and opened it at the right, a uh, bang on the right time, you just get a skill points. So... Oh yeah. And I was, I was god me. God. That's Skyrim awesome. had some really cool. Did you guys ever meet the Wabajack lady in Skyrim? Yeah, I did all the Deja quests. Yeah, those all the great. Deja the Deja quests are the best. I did everything, I believe. I I I, pre- I think I thousand G did. Did you? Okay, yeah, yeah. I planned that game. Interesting. Oh, like like <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. I wonder if I did. Who knows? We'll find out someday. Moving on. Next story. Uh, <laughs> Amazon has announced a game streaming service called Luna. They're yeah. entering the game streaming wars. Pretty big story. 
just feels like these game streaming wars are uh, rumbling up, right? We're gonna we're gonna get there. With, everyone's gonna get one. You get a streaming site. You get a streaming site. It's gonna be like fucking Netflix, Hulu, all that shit pretty soon. I think. It's, um... But uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's already got more offerings than Google Stadia has. More games on there. Uh, I don't think they revealed a controller or anything like that. Yeah, they, saw they've the shown a controller. Yeah. Yeah. It's like okay. black and purple. I'm trying to look yeah. at it right now. So yeah, some of the games on there right now, you got Control, um, you I think RE7, right? Yeah, RE7, Rhyme. Uh, so just some random shit right now, but it'll get... Oh, I see the controller right now. Oh, I like that design. It's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. So yeah, what do we think of them entering the stream? I mean, we assumed Amazon... They certainly have the money, right? Yeah, I mean, we would assume Amazon was going to do something like this, right? They have the infrastructure. Um, they've been trying to make games for a little while now. Not not really much success in that, but they have they have the money and the resources, so why not? Is I was confused how it works. So, so do you just pay for like a channel with the games in as a monthly thing? Yeah, so this is exactly what Stadia should have been. It's a monthly subscription, and that's it. You're not, is Stadia not a monthly subscription? No, no, no you pay for no, the game no, 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 no. You're, You have to buy the games. The Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So that's where Stadia got it wrong. Is <laughs> Got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Like, n- now that you just pay the subscription and you just play the games. See, and then you what? You So there's a Ubisoft channel, and then there's some other channels. Uh, I don't remember. So here you go. The introductory price of this is five ninety nine a month during its early access phase, which will give subscribers the ability to play Luna Plus channel games across two devices simultaneously and offers 4K 60 frames per second. But so, how, how do you play the games? I mean, what, what games are... There's a it Ubisoft like thing. A basic layout. Um, right now, I don't specifically see a Ubisoft button. I'm at, I must be talking out turn. Players who subscribe to this channel will have access to their favorite Ubisoft titles. Oh, yeah in 4K resolution, mobile gameplay, and access to new titles of the channel that launches like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Far Cry 6, Immortal Phoenix Rising. That's Gods and Monsters. Not, so I was like, what's Immortal Phoenix Rising? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so it doesn't sound like there's a button. It's just all those games will be there. So it seems like. Um, There might be a specific section where it says Ubisoft games, but uh, I'm not seeing anything about that in particular. Like some Netflix like subsection or something? Yeah. So right now I'm just seeing a basic layout of all these games random games just uh sitting next to each other kind of okay. like a netflix style yeah I and mean, that's what i think that's i think the easiest way just have blade through a bunch of games and pick a game and play it i know they did team up with ubisoft though with something i, I know what you're talking ubisoft about. likes everybody they always team up with everybody to do it yeah weren't they huge into stadia as well uh well they assassin's creed um odyssey was one that they showed on stage it was yeah that bait, that first, that's the one they gave yeah. everybody to play with didn't they to play yeah. on the Google well, even, well, actually, even taking a step back, remember that thing you could play on Chrome? Yeah, that's what I meant. Just people playing Odyssey yeah, yeah. on Chrome. Yeah, people like, like playing on like a, a battered notebook. I think Jared Petty was showing it off. Like. Yeah, or it's like a Chromebook. Or it's something. just a Chromebook, like some yeah. shitty thing that Connor's got. Yeah, that's it. Not anymore. I do have a Chromebook, yeah. Oh, you still have it? Yeah, it's somewhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> just to make this conversation a little bit bigger, do we think streaming is where like gaming is going because i do i think in a few i don't think it works right now i just don't think i don't know i just because the only experience i've had with streaming is ps now and that was just shit oh it's terrible so i mean yeah. eventually i think it's going to move to dongles and then you use dongles and stuff like that for like right, TV, like that. Just plug um, in. stuff but like that still stream uh, to that right uh yeah yeah exactly yeah. Um, you won't be able to download anything I, I honestly like i don't know if any of them are going to be as successful as xcloud I mean, no, yeah, we still don't really know yet, right? I mean, you have know. you have you tried XCloud yet? I, I still haven't. No, no. Like, I mean, I mean, it's still technically in beta. You click it; it takes a while for the game to load. I mean, I mean, I played the quick Forza here and there, but yeah, it it works. I, I wouldn't, I've not tried it outside the house. That's a different. Yeah, story have you, you haven't like had it and used a controller yet? No, I have. Yeah, right. I, I um, I just like propped it up on the sofa and then put my controller. And just, I just had a quick go of it, like. And it was fine. It seemed all right. Yeah, like that's well, amazing. That's all you want. But my phone's like dead wide as well, so it like it didn't feel the screen, yeah, me too. which was a bit me annoying. Too. So I got I got a, I got a pretty wide phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. it'll be interesting to see where Sony and Nintendo are them falling in this. If maybe a gaming gaming game streaming service comes to them as like an app or something, and their games go on there, 
or if they end up just making their own. Um, what PS... I really hope doesn't happen is everyone has their own and we're subscribing well, there was, to like there was an that... EA one or a Sony one and a Nintendo one. I hope and not. An Xbox one. I don't you want know? that. Yeah, that's I that's not what that. I want either. All of a sudden, that. I'm playing a hundred dollars a year for different game streaming services. You know. Yeah, but that's better than paying for a month three game, three sixty dollar games. Sure. Um, I don't buy three sixty but... games in a month though. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but. Like, didn't Sony have that deal with a- Xbox like a couple of years ago? That they were going to work together on with their servers and stuff. And stuff? Yeah. So maybe it would end up being XCloud that takes Sony games in you know years to come. You know, I mean, obviously, wouldn't that be crazy? Yeah, nowhere Xbox near happy in right a Sony now. app next to each other. I mean, because right now, if you look at the three, it's Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. Those are like the three biggest companies in the world. They have way more money than Sony, and I don't. Yeah. They could easily just surpass them in this with them already starting and Sony having nothing. Nintendo as well. Nintendo could just get put the bed. Over just the keep screen. having making handhelds. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> I mean, that's what you do, right? Yeah. Uh, the PS Now is garbage, though. Isn't it? Like, I think Natalie, Natalie was like, oh, "I will try it." Natalie says, "I'll try it." She wants to play Sonic Adventure Battle Two or something. What yeah. a weird game you want to play. Yeah, I <laughs> really want to play this particular game. <laughs> she, well, she played, um, what did she play? Sonic Mania? Is it not Sonic Mania? Sonic Mania? No. So the, Sonic Generations? The rubbish Sonic. The one that Sonic, Sonic 06. Sonic no. 06 was notorious. No, it came out last year or maybe two years ago. Sonic Forces. That one. She played that the other day. And then she was like, I really want to play this. So it was like, oh, it's on, it's on PS Now. And, it, you know, it gives you the whole internet test. Your internet is fine to play this. And then uh, all of a sudden it just like it would just like play, slow down, play, slow down, play, slow down. She's just like this is garbage. You can't download some of them. Yeah, the PS4 games, which is fine. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but obviously, I don't know. Moving on. We'll Moving get it on there. To our last story. This is Oh, we got a couple more. We Ooh. got we got two more stories. Two more. Uh, yep. I don't see the one. Uh, well, you're missing. Well, one. whatever. We'll start this one. CD Projekt Red is introducing a six-day mandatory work week, otherwise known as crunch, to uh, ensure that Cyberpunk 2077 hits its November 19th release date. Mm-hmm. And they said for um, six weeks. Yeah, for six only weeks. Six check out. So yeah, I guess we can just have a discussion about crunch um, overall. Did, I mean, like, there's also the tweet I, I put in the in, in there as well from the uh, head of the studio. Uh, uh like, sure yeah is it adam Badawowski? yeah if you'd like to read that sure these last six weeks are our final sprint on a project we've spent so much time on in our lives i don't want to read this whole thing he's basically saying that he apologizes because they've said well, they wouldn't do crunch or they're he they're giving a, uh at some point they're giving all of the people that work at the studio a percentage of the profit sure uh, ten percent of the profit, right? Ten percent of the profit. They make so after all for that. six extra days of work, really, I guess. Um, I mean that's a, that's crunch is, is is an interesting issue, right? It, yeah, it's a really, uh, hot topic right now. So, I guess basically, just what are your guys' over overall thoughts on this uh, crunch thing? Because I think this is a problem, not just in gaming. I feel like gaming just gets the most attention on it, right? Uh, well, because we're more in tune with it. I right, think. because that's what we're all paying attention to. We all pay attention to these studios and what they say, and obviously we're all very much into video games. But I feel like, you know, overly working is like a world-renowned problem, right? You know, I think, you yeah. know, people spending too much time at work. I mean, look at, like, doctors, nurses, people, you know, people, construction workers, just, stuff like that. Uh, grocery workers, um, just a lot of different things, especially in yeah. what's happening right now. So I think sometimes when I see these stories, I get a little upset that it's just like, okay, why do video games get so much attention on this when uh, there's so many other jobs that are being overly worked and overly paid, right? But it does have to start somewhere, right, to fix the problem, you know? So why not video games, I think, you know? Video games is a very, like, forward-thinking industry as well, right? Yep. Yeah, so, you know, six days extra for six weeks isn't, isn't too bad, you know, whatever, or not six days, actually, six day weeks, whatever. I suppose yeah, it depends how many hours you're working in that day. You know, if it's yeah. 12 hours, six days a week, okay, that's probably a little much, but they do have to finish this game. And I believe Jason Schweier has even said, like, even if you delay this, it doesn't fix the problem, right? Like there's still going to be crunch then. If they delayed this game till March, 
to avoid crunch. They're still going to have to crunch in March, right? Or in February or whatever, sure. right? It's still going to end up happening. So they kind of just have to um, do it at some point. I will say that it, it just, they're, they're, they, the, the word crunch has kind of gotten this tainted view to it. Um, there, in any sort of business, you're going to have to have some time. It's almost, it's inevitable that you're going to have some time where you need to crunch and, and, and work. Right. I mean, we've all had like hard weeks where we work 12 hour days. Yeah. And, and I just work, I shit. just work like 80 hours in a week. Right. Um, and I don't know. I, I don't really have much else to say about that. You know, like crunch just, it's sometimes it's inevitable. And I'm not saying that forced crunch, right? Like that kind of sucks, but. And assuming you would assume these people are working at their their jobs that they're passionate about too, right? Yeah, like sure. Side, right. Like they, you would assume these workers love working on video games. They love what they're working on. This is like their dream job, right? For a lot of these people, you know, construction workers, myself, I'm not passionate about my job in any way. So when I work six hour weeks, I'm pissed. But uh, you know, you would think there's also a lot of satisfaction that would come with after those six weeks and you finally put this game out. Right. So, I mean, there's a little bit of an upside to it. Sims, what are your thoughts? I don't, I think Daniel just hit the nail in the head. Like there's, there's crunches everywhere. Like it is everywhere. I mean, I think I, the people that make this game are passionate about this game. And I'm sure half of them are like, yeah, I want to get this done. I've only got six weeks anyway. Let's just get it done. They've all knuckled down. Big team meeting as well. Do you know what I mean? It's probably, it's, it, there's not going to be a big email. You have to work this big bold letters. You're sincerely, you're sincerely, fuck you, David, whatever was his name. What was fuck his name? Fuck you. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's going to be a big meeting every week, you know, big gatherings, you know, big team meetings, obviously not over Zoom. Guys, six weeks away, where are we looking at? Well, you know, the, the character models could look a bit, you know, the melee's still not where we want it. Okay, right. So what we're going to do is then, right, we all get paid over time. Let's just get this six weeks out of the way. After that six weeks, you know, we can all take it in terms to take such a three, you know, like, you know, annual leave or extra treat what you want. You know, enjoy the holidays because after this, this is done then. All we got to have is a small team on the side looking after the bugs, keeping in contact with the community. Just six weeks. The, the thing that's going to be that, 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 that I think the people are kind of overlooking too is, yes, they're getting... They're, 100% getting paid overtime. Yeah, of course. And they're going to get that 10% of the profit. That's a lot of compensation for six weeks. Yeah. Um, like you were talking about before the show, though, too, we don't really, at, at least us two Americans, maybe Sims knows more, we don't really know the laws and stuff in, uh, where are these guys located? It's Sweden. Uh, Poland. They're, no, Poland. they're in Poland. Portland. Poland. 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 I was like, wait, that's not right. <laughs> Poland. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not really, you know, too familiar with Poland laws and stuff like that, or just their overall culture over there. And Sims, you got some insight there. And, I mean, uh, I would say we're in Europe, but um, I mean, if I have to work overtime, I get I get you know a bit of time and off. I mean, many places I've worked kitchens. You know, if you work over forty eight hours, then you get um, time and off after that. But then most companies won't let you do that unless they're really desperate. Like, oh, oh you know, so and so is phoned in sick and nobody else wants to cover it. Well, do you want to do it? Yeah, you know what I mean. I've you know I've been, I've been in so many negotiations at five o'clock on a Saturday afternoon after a five hundred cover shift in the kitchen. Oh, do you want do you want to stay tonight? Not really. No. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, we'll pay you time and off. All right, son, sign me up. Get me a Red Bull. Like, I mean, that those are my terms and conditions. I want two Red Bulls, big steak, time and off. Yes, sir. No worries. But that's kitchen <laughs> life. I don't know. God, I don't miss them days. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Like I said, I think I. I personally think like, the way it's gone is how I've just explained it. Like. I mean, Jason Schreier saying, you know, they've been mandatory crunch. I think it was a bit more of a, not a, you have to do it. It's, look, guys, let's all just band together. Let's all get it done. And obviously, Jason Schreier's got to do what you got to do. He's, he's, a, he's a journalist. He's a reporter. He know, you know, he's got to do this. And I bet there's that one person that's, like, not happy about it. And it's what it is. Like, as a team, you've just got to work together. And you've got to be, you've got to be passionate about this. And CD Projekt Red Auto, they're a, they're a different breed of people. And, I, like, I know this may be sounded a bit, like... um Stereotypical. Well, the Polish are very, they're very passionate people. Do you know what I mean? I, I bet most of the team is Polish. Polish. 
so Polish, like so so Polish, so passionate. Like I've met some Polish people, and they're incredibly passionate about their job. And one Polish bloke was very passionate about drinking, but that's another story for another day. He used to offer me. He's like, "I do your shift." I was like, "Yeah." He goes, "I give you hundred pounds." I was like, "What?" He's like, "You do my shift, and I'll give you hundred pounds." I'm like, "San, San." That was another double. Sound. <laughs> That's an English term. Sound. But Shout. no, yeah. The, like I said, they're very pol. They're, they're very passionate. Wow. They're very passionate people. It's different. It's different over there. I think you know, words on a paper or words in an email or words in a tweet can look very can sound so differently. Completely different. Completely tone deaf to what actually did happen. Why do we need to know about this? Like we don't like it's not the last se- the last seven months of got crunch. I think just because they said they wouldn't crunch and it would have looked bad if we found out they did crunch and they didn't say anything, right? But uh, do you reckon we would have got this email either way? I mean, this I this tweet from the Ed. Ed, Ed, Ed I mean, this all comes from Schreier just snooping around, though, right? So that's his job, isn't it? Like, it's, and I, I think no, we had a conversation. Job, we had a conversation to it before we started this. Like Kotaku and Bloomberg have got to be very different things. Like Bloomberg want the scoop, but like Bloomberg hired him to yeah. To get and the he, scoop obviously to he's like he, <laughs> Jason Schreier still on his probation period. Like he's not bothered. Like he's sleeping <laughs> in. He's sleeping in <laughs> CD Project Red's bins. Like reading trash all day. You can imagine him just like in some camouflage suit in the trash, just reading all the rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched way too many movies. On to our last story. Yep. Uh, Steve is joining the fight in Super yeah, Smash Bros. I'm and going, Steve boys. Minecraft. Oh, uh, oh, oh also, no, <laughs> weird little friends are coming in, like uh, Zombie Man and uh, Zombie Man. I don't, Alex. I don't play Alex, 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 the Alex of standard course. female. Yes, of course. You know, I could have sworn already in Smash, but Daniel, you're a big Minecraft fan and a big Smash fan. What do you? Yeah, think? that's cool. I was the I was telling you guys this before. It was the rumor for the first Fighter Pass that Steve might make a, a uh, join the fight as well, because um, they just did a deal with Microsoft with Banjo. So hey, why not look pen another deal for the next one, right? Where's Master Chief? That's what I'm asking. Why couldn't it have been Chief? Where is Chief? Where's my boy? Perfect. I was really expecting it to be Crash today. Honestly. I was expecting I, it to be Crash. Be cool. Yeah. Um, Obviously, but tomorrow the, coming out. Also, so. It looks really fun. I, I, the level looks interesting. His his move set seems uh, pretty cool. He looked like he was building something. Um, but I only watched the trailer, so I don't know much more than that. Very entertaining trailer as well. Very entertaining. Yeah, Very fun. funny. Mario got creeper bombed. Boom. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, Mario yeah. gets creeper bombed in the train. It's just that awkward silence with like Mario yeah. and Steve, just like Steve's just gonna yeah. fuck up Mario. I, I love I love the one the the part in the trailer. Um, Sims was talking about it where a uh, snake is hiding in his box and there's like a little peephole and then the Enderman like was looks into the hole. Yeah, you need to look at that. It was great. It is, it is creepy. <laughs> it is so creepy. Overall, though, it makes a lot of sense that uh, this character yeah. is introduced in Smash, right? Yeah, so you could play as a, as a zombie, you could play as Alex, Steve, and then a, uh, an Enderman. That's Enderman. Like the Are those the guys that look like Squidward? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really, they're like black with purple eyes, and they're really skinny. From SpongeBob, Squidward. I know Squidward. Yeah, I do, but they don't look, look anyway. I mean, they don't have the nose, but I knew what he was saying. I don't know. You know what I was talking about. Come on. Yeah. Squidward. Uh, who else do we want in Smash? I really want Sora. Dante. I want Dante. Is Dante not there? No, dude. I want Dante in Smash. Come on. He'd be so fun. So yeah, fun. Great. I can't believe that's not there. Especially go up against Bayonetta. That'd be cool. Oh, dude. Dante versus Bayonetta? What? That'd be sick. That'd be sick. Nobody, wants, versus... nobody wants Sawyer. Nobody. Sawyer. I said it earlier. Sawyer. Sora. Sora. Uh, Sora. Sora. What about Spyro? <laughs> you think Spyro could fit? If you're yeah. not getting crash, you ain't getting spiral. Yeah. Right? No, but I'm just throwing One it day, out, like it can happen, can't it? Like after the spire pass, there's are they, I mean, this game doesn't need to there doesn't need to be another Smash game, does it? Like there doesn't need no. to be one. Just keep adding characters to it. Because it's just that big one big platform. Like, I mean, what more can you do to a Smash game? The only two that I want are like spirits. I just want or like assist trophies. I want them to be characters. I want Alucard from Castlevania. And I want Shovel Knight. 
get them out of those assist trophies, make them characters. I agree with Shovel Knight. Yeah, why is he not? He's an amiibo. Make him a character. I have my amiibo. Oh, you can see him. You can see him right there. Can you I see, see him? him. That's, sho- that's a Shovel Knight. Just that's looking at your good. provocative poster of Harley Quinn. Oh, Pope. yeah, yeah, you are. Stanya, you sick, sick bastard. <laughs> 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 Moving on, uh, we will now move on to the bet of the week. Yeah, new releases. releases. You do this day. every time, man. You know, I always forget the new releases. No, it's not good enough. Shut up, Sam. <laughs> Go home. Anyways. I am home. He is home. Can't <laughs> leave. Go somewhere else. Put Natalie on. She likes Kim. <laughs> Sam sucks. She played that- <laughs> <laughs> She's playing that rechain game. Ugh. Chain of Memory? She's playing Chain of Memory? She loves it. Not to- She's enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's not what I wanted. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's enjoying it. It's great. I mean, I played She's it. like, Sora this- doesn't know who his friends are anymore. He's in the no, Castle yeah, of Oblivion or something. I was like, walk it out. God. What is it? The <laughs> Castle of... We can't say the big word. Obliv- Obliv- Oblivion. Oh, what? Sorry. You can't get quiet. Oblivion. Oblivion. Hello. Call, yeah, call. Fine. yeah, I'm fine. Anyways, moving on to the new releases and dates. Uh, coming out in a matter of hours now. Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Because I'm on PS4, Xbox One. Man, it's about oh, time that game comes out, you know? You know what I mean? I need yeah. that game in my life. Getting Are you two movie. really excited about this game? <laughs> yes, man. That's, so, of course I am. I'm so wait. ready. I'm going to play once I get out. I loved game. Insane Trilogy. Oh, I can't wait. I'm ready for this game. I mean, how long? Yeah. What time do you Go finish ahead. work then, Connor? 11. So, like, right when it comes out. And, what time, and then you got an hour until it comes out at midnight. No, it comes out at 11 for me. Why? Because I'm on Central he, Time. Yeah, he's Central Time. It comes out midnight East Coast time, which is an hour ahead of me. So it's 11 my time. Yeah. yeah, it's 12. It's midnight for me. Actually, I think with Activision games, it comes out at like 8 p.m., so I won't even be home. But by the time I get home, it'll work. Pre-download it. It'll be there. Yeah, it's already there. Ready? Nice. Also coming out, excited about this one as well, Star Wars Squadrons coming out on PS4, Xbox One, PC. Uh, you guys getting this? Getting pretty good reviews. Um, uh, no. it's still that's one that's kind of up there. I would I would like to I'd like to try it out, but uh, we'll see. I got it. I got it for thirty six dollars. Yeah, it's that, cheap. It? Access thing. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, I mean, is it going to be on uh, day one Xbox Series X? No, it's not. It won't be on EA Play for like six months. But is it not just already there anyway? Why would it be? I don't know. I thought that's how EA Play worked. No, um, you don't get brand new EA games right away on EA. You can play for 10 hours, though, can't you? Um, I think you have to buy it to play for 10 hours, and you get it. You can play it 10 hours early, like four days early. Oh, uh, okay. Strange. But you might be able to just play it for 10 hours. So maybe you could just That's how you did UFC. Yeah, cool. Yeah, but I had already bought that, so I don't know. Yeah. It's a good question. I mean, I think That's I've not bought a FIFA and then played the EA play. This was years ago, though. And you've played like the 10 hours of it? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Next up, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is coming out. This got delayed like a week, right? Yeah, yeah uh, well, last week I had put it on and, and then you guys had talked about it being delayed, so yeah, yeah I put it on for this. So yeah, comes out now October 6th, comes out on PC and Stadia, which I don't believe is true. <laughs> no game ever comes out. I am that I'm just writing what Games Radar puts. That's my. That's where I go. Games Radar, man. Whatever that's where I go. Uh, next up, Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 Grand Prix coming out on PS4, Xbox One, and Switch on October 6th. God. No idea. I love Kart Racers, though. I'll, I'll play the shit out of that. Can I play the right. characters? Uh, kind of funny has a, has a first impressions. Do they? Uh, I would say go go look at that. Is Greg go there? Uh, no, it's no, Tim no. and Bless it. No, is uh, it, I believe yeah. Blessings like, took over, and he? like, he's like, I think he's on that push with it. I was blessed. Yeah, but not oh, in that. Not in that first. Is it Fucking. So yeah, Nick Lennon Kart Raiders. Can't wait. Next up, Ride 4 comes out on October 8th on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. For all the car nerds. Uh, Isn't it bike thing? Go ahead and ride for the what? fourth time. Isn't it bikes? Oh, it could be mostly bikes. I remember one of the rides had a motorcycle cover. My uncle. My, my uncle bought it. 
He doesn't play. He just bought a PlayStation and and games. He's never played it. Oh, I don't know. Does that? It doesn't work, Changes Steve. <laughs> Steve, can you come down here and just uh, see if this works? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, it works. All right, so turn on my PS4. Honestly, my 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 uncle's such a technophobe. He could plaster your yeah. house all day long, but p- turning things on. Mm-mm. Can't find those buttons. You Can't know, find difficult. those buttons. It's difficult. He That's literally so- couldn't find the button on the PlayStation. <laughs> I mean, you could never find that thing, though. Yeah, it's those little slot things. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. impossible to find. I, I hate them. I wonder if they're going to buttons. There's Should buttons on the on the PS Mini, in there. The what? The PlayStation Mini. The PlayStation Four Mini. There's a what Mini. Mini or you Slim. Mini? Sorry, the Slim. Oh, there's buttons on that, in there. Like, I don't have the Slim. I have the base PS4 right here. Anyway, I see. Yeah, I, I've never even seen the Slim. Next up, we'll move on to the bets now. Last week's bet was Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time Metacritic scored. Yeah. Uh, what is it? What is it I right guessed, now? I'm going to refresh my page. Sims guessed 87 and Daniel guessed 88. These reviews just came out like an hour ago. Re- no, very recent. A couple about, hours ago. Maybe. It's like 2 o'clock my time. So about That's today. Really today. Yeah, today. Whatever. And Daniel, what is it sitting at right now? Currently? Uh, refresh my page. There has been 30 critics. The one with the most reviews. So uh, the Xbox and the PS4 one. Okay, maybe let me type it in then. Because Hold on. No, I no, just... no. Metacritic. Let me get this. Let me look at the PS4 version. Closest pop. PS4 version is the same. So it is at 86. 86. Which, honestly, we're all really close. All very close. We're all, all very close. close. That would make your winner Sims. No, it would be you. We both went over. Oh, yeah. Shit, it is me. Yeah. I always forget that. All right, cool. Well, So, guess what that means, Connor. boys? I know it. I'm good with Crash, man. Guess guess what that means? We're all tied we're up. We're all tied again. <laughs> we are all tied again. I hope the last one, we're all tied. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and then that last one will just be super epic. <laughs> that would be oh, awesome. That would be such that'd a good be bet. bet. Like, that would be yeah. so good. Oh, yeah. We got to make a great bet out of that one. Like a wrestling okay. bet. Uh, this week's bet is gonna be. Uh, I didn't think of one, so we'll do the idea from yesterday. How many ships are in Star Wars Road Squadron? Okay. Right, no, no, well, since you bought it, you're gonna have to be the one that looks. At that. I will. Uh, it's, uh, Star Wars Squadrons. Squadrons, yes. How many different types of ships? Uh, now I know Sim said yesterday in the chat that there can't be a lot, but there's a lot. There's of a, there's, I guarantee you, there's, there's a shit ton of Star Wars ships, and I guarantee they're all gonna be in there to give that. One of me. mine was, I was thinking maybe how many just like ship based games as well, but that that would be a lot too. Battleship one through seventeen. <laughs> no, 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 Star Wars ship flying. Oh, Star games. Wars ship games. Yeah, yeah. Can't be that many of that. Oh, there's a lot of Rogue Squadron games. Is there? Okay, yeah. that's what I. That's why I said Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadron. Yeah. I mean, how confident are we that there's loads of ships in this game? I mean, there's a there's at least one of every class, right? But how so do you know this? There's at least there's a lot of Star Wars. Right, I'm not gonna give you any information then for this bit. <laughs> I'm giving you zero. One below you. You know, to ensure Sims doesn't do that, Sims, go ahead. You go first. Go first. <laughs> you have no information. You go first, buddy. You're saying a lot, but I, I don't know. I, I, what? I've been watching Rebels again, too. I've been rewatching. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't wait for Are you getting ready for Mandalorian? Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Yeah. Fucking can't nerds. Wait. You're fucking nerds. I know. The six, seven, six, seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. Wow, we're all over the board. What's your final? Say it. Seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Now, if you screw me over and there's like four, I'll, I'll, I'll fly. Oh, Connor, did we not mention to him that there's only two? One for each. There's there's Han Solo's ship and uh, (laughs) Slave One and and Luke's ship. And how are we gonna find this out then? Indefinitely, like he has. Connor bought the game. Yeah, Yeah, but he has to finish the game, unlock all the ships, buy the. Buy the microtransaction ships. You could just look it up too. We'll figure it out. I don't want to be robbed on this. Uh, this You're going to be robbed. You won't. I'm telling you. You're going to win. I will go with 27. Robbed. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little information, Sims. I think that there is five types 
or five classes, right? If I remember correctly, there's five classes. So that's five different ships for each side already. That's 10 ships. Then there's got to be some unlockables for each one. So if there's at least one unlockable for each ship, that's 20. Man, is there more than 27 ships? No, he said 20. He said 20. He's I done. Lock in the bank. No, 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 Throw no, away no. the key. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Connor said 27? Man, what is this with this weird number? Odd numbers. There's going to be a weird number. It's always a weird number. Yeah. Mm. Like, I, I'm going to screw Connor. I'm going to say 26. Fuck you. <laughs> Every time, man. Every time. It really is. Yes. Hopefully it's like 30 something then. All right. It could be more. It could be a ton of ships. We don't know. Could be. Yeah. Hopefully there's just like a thousand uh, ships. We don't know if there's any hero ships, right? No, yeah, we don't. I don't even know if that's that'll be a thing. I don't know. Yeah, that might not be a thing about this game. So yeah, check it out, especially with the reviews. We will now move on to the game. Uh, we will finish up finally the game of the generation that we have been doing for the last month. Uh, we have. It's been a long, hard battle for these last four games in our final four. The King of Hearts way too far. Kingdom Hearts uh, should have been in this final four, as we all know. It, it probably should win. I believe that's the general consensus uh, consensus throughout all of gaming, right? Is that Kingdom Hearts 3 is the game of the generation. But unfortunately, it didn't make it because you two are the devil. <laughs> well, you should be thanking him. It got, you should be thanking Sims it got as far as it did. The devil. Thank you, Sims. Anyways, our final four is uh, uh, we will start <laughs> off on side of the bracket which is spider-man versus red dead redemption 2 and then on the right side we have god of war versus uncharted 4 let the battle begin with spider-man versus red dead redemption 2 again sims i think we all know which one you're picking so go ahead no, you don't what? know because this is the hardest decision of my life <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah this game I mean these both of these games are like they are my favorite game of all time both of them, really interesting. You say uh, that once a week. About a I know, game. yeah, it's like a low, it's a slogan, isn't it? Like we should all get T-shirts with our favorite phrases. Or my right. favorite game of all time. <laughs> the, this has to be the best game of the of the gen. <laughs> um, I mean, they're both complete. Like Spider-Man, I mean, like we get to have a discussion about it. You know, like a month Red apart Dead, as well. Red Dead has it, it, to me the best story of the generation. I think pretty handily. I can um, agree with that. Uh, I don't really like the complaints that it's always oh, too long. Oh, the game doesn't play well. Like, I think the game plays well. well. I do not think the combat is all that good in Red Dead. I, it is fine. It is great. It is. I mean, it's not a over. Play, but I do yeah. not think the combat in that game stands out or even amongst other good third person shooters. I think it's just. I think it feels fine to, to shoot. It's fine. Like, it's. it's that, but that's it. It's fine. It's not great in any way, the combat, I don't think. I don't think it's something to, to, to harp on, though. It's serviceable for what the game is. No, but when we're talking about the game of the generation and the gameplay... And you know what feels good? Game is riding just... on your horse as Arthur. Sure. Just you know riding. Good, though? Riding on your horse and shooting, guys. It doesn't feel bad. I don't no, think it, it feels doesn't... bad. The game is just... The the story's perfectly pay, uh, pl- uh, paced. I mean, I, I say perfectly. Like the, the beginning's very slow, but it's slow for a reason. And the the game as it as it slowly starts to ramp up and like the the spoilers for Resident for Red Dead like the little like there's a big story part and where Arthur finds out that he's poor he's not very well he's he's sick as the Americans would say but you you, you notice like you know he's coughing and you don't re- you know you don't really realize it until you're like oh yeah he has been coughing and then obviously that you know I won't spoil it but. And yeah, he was the, slowly coughing for a while. Yeah, and you don't really, you, you kind of just think it's the game. Like, you just kind of think it's you're that. The camera at his face, you see him slowly, slowly getting sick, right? You, yeah. You can see his face, yeah. He's slowly, crazy. you just think it's just, I don't know, I guess it's stress. I mean. What I also love about that is there's a, you can see the exact moment when he gets sick. Uh, so it's tuberculosis that he gets. We're going to spoil parts of this game. But, yeah. Uh, he gets to Especially it. these four games. You can see the exact moment. So Arthur gets sent on a mission to collect money, I believe. For the, from the German guy. From the German guy, from like a small German family. And that's just like uh, trying to 
No, no, no. The German guy is the one that sends you. I yeah, yeah. It's the debt collector. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, debt collector. collector. Anyways, he goes to this house. There's this man there that's sick, and that's the man. Uh, he has tuberculosis, and Arthur. Yeah, he coughs in his Arthur face. has to beat him up. You have to beat him up as Arthur, and uh, he ends up coughing in your face. He coughs blood in Arthur's mouth, where he actually like spits it out and stuff. So you can actually go back and see the moment when he gets sick. It's crazy. I mean. I will, I I've heard numerous reasons why I think that is the main one. I think there's there's other th there's other there's a, there is other like you can get TB from a lot of different rumors sources. or whatever. I want to say rumors, but uh, what are they called? Speculations or you know conversation pieces about it. it the game is incredible. The the, the the you know the you know the the sudden the music cues in the game. Like you know you have to go from one place to the other, and it, you know that it's the gate. The, there's a this is a moment. And the, the soundtrack and oh, I love this game so much. If this game like, gets it, remastered on the Xbox on the PS5, oh my days! Like I think it has the 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 best open world. Like it's, it's so lived in. I it's just beautiful. That. Okay. My my biggest problem with this game is I I get that it's slow to teach to get you to live in this world. They want you to feel like you're living in this world. I get that, and to a certain point though like i i understood that hours ago and when i'm riding back to my camp which is like a 20 minute horse ride or maybe i'm exaggerating a little but at least 10 minutes back to my camp because you can't fast travel and you, you can, can you can but you have to upgrade your camp and you can only fast travel back to that camp and it takes forever to upgrade it enough to even get to that point i mean did anyone ever fast travel in this game no because i enjoyed the totally horse bad. riding i, never I enjoyed fast I enjoyed, I enjoyed it, it, but after I'm doing it for the hundredth fucking time, and I'm just riding back to camp, uh, see, I didn't. That was the point where, like, I already understood what you're trying to do, and at this point, you're just wasting my time. Which uh, see, I just wanted to live live in that America. Mm -hmm. I loved every minute of it. Sure, but it I think just, that for me, combined with the gunplay being just see, so, I like it. I I I, I, I like it just the real Spider-Man back in this conversation. There's no point in Spider-Man where I wasn't having fun, where I wasn't enjoying myself. No, but I think Spider-Man had a lot of repetition to it. Sure. A lot of the missions were repetitive. Sure. Like, sure. The main story Red was it's more unique open world, right? A more unique take on an open world where Spider-Man yeah. brings in a lot of things. Spider-Man just plays really well and I think has a really good main story. But at, at, not, at no point does Spider-Man ever get boring. Even though you are, you know, you do do the same... Car chase, you do do the same side. Little crimes and stuff. Yeah. At no point does Spider Man waste my time. Which is why I would vote for Spider Man. You two can continue. Okay. I going back to you going though, you know, you, you, you horse ride in, you know, twenty minutes. You know, it, it is an exaggeration, but then four minutes can feel like a lifetime and especially video games. A minute a loading screen feels like a lifetime in video games. Um, but I think for me that was giving me time to reflect. Even just on my life, I mean, I, I played it a shitty time in my life where everything just seemed to be going wrong, and I would just, I just the only place like I'd go to and it, everything would just be okay, like in this ho horrible world. But you know, you just sit there galloping and you tapping your X and you just and there's all, a lot to see. All of know? a sudden, like this, that 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 score just chimes in and the the banjo. Like I can't remember it now, but I remember it you know, there, it being there, and then obviously the soundtrack, like, the the one, them two songs that come in when you're going from point A to point B, and it's just like, and ha feeling that moment of, like, I hope he doesn't die, like, you, you, you know, you, I was there, like, please don't, just don't die, and then obviously then, you know, at the end, you know, the inevitable happens, and then, and even further on down the game, the game just, like, it does a little switch of ruin you, and you're like, fucking hell, man, no, I, I love this game. But I love Spider Man as well. For different reasons. Like for just for the right, uh, So what are some highlights and cons to Spider Man <laughs> just to get into Spider Man? I feel like we're talking a lot about Red Dead here. Uh the cons are pretty much everything that isn't the main story. Sure. Uh all every mission that's not the main story is really repetitive. Uh the hairy missions I don't like at all. They're all weird. Those like, ones where you gotta go through the different... either that or like one was like you had to like burst a thing in the specific section. Oh, yeah. Clear the uh, the weather. It was like that. yeah, it was like some oh, weird <laughs> weather thing. I don't like the hairy missions at all. Ta the Taskmaster fights I thought were pretty pretty cool. Um, I didn't like the combats. Really I didn't good. like the puzzles in Doc Ogg's house. I yeah, 
They're whatever. I hate them. I love that. I love those little bars. I hate puzzles. And then, but they did have the whole skip this. Son! Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. My biggest hate for Spider Man is, of course, the character model. Just fucking horror. (laughs) 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 I wish that the next version of it would make a new one. Like, I wish they just, you know? know? Yeah. Great. Fuck. Make them look better. But yeah, I mean, my biggest con for Spider Man is it is just takes a lot of tropes from the other open world games right I, you know there's a lot of ubisoft dna in there a lot of shit you would see in just other open world games which you don't get in red dead you don't get a lot of that but the, the, bit, not too much the, the whole you know the the you know you have to go to these places to do these certain missions each each designated area has like five different crimes and five different this five different that but then but then the traversal like the swinging is just so good like you don't mind going from point A to point B to point A to point B because you just have like you just do it in so many different ways and and you master the the L one R one zip press X at the right time to go even faster to then dip dive straight bomb. dive yeah. bomb to feel that all the velocity hitting you and then at the last minute and then you get the whole woohoo because sometimes he gives it a good you know he gives some verbal like you know feedback. I I don't know. I'm going to vote for Red Dead. Daniel going for Red Dead. Sims, down to you here. Spider-Man versus Red Dead Redemption 2. We we should have started with him voting because we know he... We, we tried. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> <laughs> they so you ultimately have the the choice. They both vote. mean... like To me, both Red Dead fantastic. is my game of the generation, personally. As, that is my personal... Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get more into that after. Sure. Yeah, we can run around after and say what all our personal games are. That'd be cool. It's Red Dead. Red Dead. Red Dead it is. On Dead to the final. Is. Red Dead you go. Welcome, Arthur Borgen. Yes. Sims just outed himself as not a true Spider-Man. Right? <laughs> Spider-Man's one of my favorite superheroes ever. I don't want to say too much negative about that game. I love that game. Uh, oh, it's official. Xbox voice. That's what we know. All right, next up. God of War versus Uncharted 4. God of War 2018 to be uh, in particular. Yeah, so this is a interesting one because one of them is I really love the story. And... The other one has a good story. One just plays way better than the other. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I'm worried about this. Uh, well, Uncharted has a much better story, but doesn't play as, as well as God of War. God of War is a good story, but not as good as Uncharted 4 story. Shocked. I don't agree with that at all. I, I don't agree. Right. I think you're on drugs. <laughs> I think you're taking some you class think, A good stuff. You think that God of War is a better story than oh, Uncharted? Man, so oh, man. Yeah, I think the stuff with Boulder is some of the best writing that this generation has seen. I think the stuff with Freya is great. Um, all that. Even like, the twins. Even crazy. the twins like in the shops. I like them, but you know, especially after I read that. The just overall about arc of Kratos raising Atreus to be a god through this story, I think that just... I think that's better than Uncharted 4 overall. But, I mean, when you're comparing gameplay, clearly God of War is better, I think. I, I, I don't think there's really too much. I never have had a problem with Uncharted's gameplay. I think no, it's just I fun either. shooting. I think it's great, yeah. yeah. I think much like Red Dead 2, uh, I think it's just fine. It's there, it's playable, it's it's great. You, know? you just uh, run around and shoot people. You know? Yeah, I think it's great. Even the stuff with the rope in Uncharted 4 to make it feel a little yeah, bit Yeah, you have that little grapple yeah, and you run and... Yeah, yeah, that's even that's another plus for Uncharted Four. I do love Uncharted Four. I love the ending. It's one of my favorite games. It's got it's certainly... one of the best endings. Yeah, it, I think it closes a series out better than any game, right? Like for for ending a series, I think it. I, I don't think it's really matched, right? I don't think I agree. Games, yeah, and um, yeah, the characters. I, I would probably say in Uncharted Four are a little bit better, a bit more memorable. Obviously, we've grown with those characters. You know, uh, Soli, Elena. Yeah, of course. And then his brother, like, they introduced yeah, a brand new character that cool that, twist. Like, yeah, it, like initially, like, oh, I don't, we don't need a brother for Nate. Like, what is this? And then I love Sam. Like, Sam's awesome character. Sure. We get him and then, in uh, Lost Legacy for that one scene or whatever. Yeah. And then go back to God of War for me. Uh, it certainly has my favorite moment of this gen. 
uh, I don't know how much this moment hits if people didn't play the other God of War. It hits. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Uh, it the hits for me. Where, uh, you know, Freya, Atreus is sick or whatever, and uh, Kratos needs to go to whatever the version of Hell was, Helheim, right? No, he needs to go. No, no, it's, he goes to the frozen area. That's the version of Hell, isn't it? No, Helheim's the other area. Is it? That's like that's what the area? that's the 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 challenge area. That's Helheim. Regardless, back to the moment or the moment he goes, I need a weapon, or I know of a weapon, right? Or he, he can't fight the things there, and he's like, I know of a weapon. And then he goes back on the boat, rides back home. You you get the great Athena scene uh, where he says, I'm no longer your monster. Just great writing, great moment. He picks up the uh, blades of chaos. You see those for the first time. Now I'm just like fucking on the edge of my seat height at this point, you know. I just that that moment meant so much to me uh, that you know I think I put it above Uncharted just for that moment. So the the Athena scene, sorry, like so is that from like God of War three? Or... So Athena is in God of War one through three. She's probably in Ascension too. Um, she basically like not controls Kratos throughout those games, but. He, he, influences all his moves throughout those games. It's basically right. working for her for some of those games. Some of them he's not. Uh, you know, you'd have to play that whole thing. There's a lot of story there. But, uh, yeah, that, and I think combined with it being the perfect platinum for me, uh, I know that's just like a me thing, but, I mean, just the side contact, I think. Uh, the the Valkyrie fights, I thought, were all amazing. Uh going around getting the different collectibles the different the, the secret ending you can find stuff like that i think all that stuff is just great Sims. Sims. yeah what do you have to say uh uncharted for me are um yeah you're not the biggest uncharted guy are you? i don't know they're just impulse but i mean we me and natalie just play them together just for um, back in the day i was never a ps3 guy so i always knew of the uncharted series so i was like nah dude which was early days me and natalie's relationship we just played uncharted one two uh, together and then obviously three came out. We played three. They're not. They're not, they're never. They're not the most for me. They're not the, the most memorable games. They're just like action packed. You know, explosions, gunfire. I never. I don't know. I, I never. I can always. I can never remember the story. I mean, number four. Can't I remember the ending? I remember the pirate stuff. I don't know. It's just very forgettable. But God of War was. I can never forget about it. Like. The, the interactions with his son and, and uh, Nim, is it Namir? Namir? Mimir. Mimir, that's it. The best I, character in the game? Yeah, 100%. Like, definitely. Yeah. Um, I won't even sell God of War that much. Like, it's, it's God of War for me, 100%. Like, I mean, we could talk about it maybe, next, I don't know, now or next week. But it's incredible. Like, the game, like, for me as a father, and like, the, the, just the journey that they have together. Um, the athe- you know the the blades of chaos scene didn't really hit for me. It was more the little scenes that hit for me of of just Atreus him, just getting him him like going to touch his back. Yeah, that deep like scenes like that. I mean, like I've that. screenshotted yeah. it. Like I've screenshotted like scenes like that. Just like you know, he wants to be the dad. He wants to, but he he can't make him soft because he knows the journey ahead of him. He knows you know how hard his life will be. Like, and we didn't even know that. Do you know what I mean? I didn't know that. You know, playing the game. Well, uh, it's, it's it's really after that Balder fight is really when he's he needs to prepare him because he might not be there for the entire life of him. So, you know, he's he can't be easy on him. You know, no, it's incredible. Like the, the just the words that he gives his son. Like, I mean, I've started calling my girls like girl. <laughs> I just started like girl. <laughs> it's just disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, only when they're naughty. But no, yeah, God of War is phenomenal. Like every, everything just hit home for me, except for the fucking Valkyrie bitches. Piss me I'm off. Right, do my yeah. head in all of them. I, and that I last know, one. Um, yeah, I heard the last one's really hard. It took me um, two weeks. I, I, I didn't vote, but the one, uh, I do really want to say that Uncharted Four, I, I love so much, but. What 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 makes me vote for God of War is Kratos himself. Sure, you know to to make a character that wasn't really much, didn't have a lot of depth, and make him what he is in this game, I think is a good feat. And with to that, being a, to being a character, you know that I like. With that, 
our final is Red Dead Redemption 2, developed by Rockstar Games, released on uh, October 28th, 2018. Might be around about that. Maybe I'm making shit up. Somewhere around there. There's Versus around there. God of War, released on April 20th, 2018. I remember that one. And November the... they will now fight in a battle. Let the battle begin. Daniel, start with you. Ooh. So I'll break it down again. Story-wise, like Red Dead, just... I agree on this one. So much... Like Red Dead... Like, I, I love I Red Dead story. story too, so... Um, would you say? Sorry. Nothing. I agree as well that Red Dead has the best story of the gen. I agree. Yeah, just the best story. I, I even think it has some of the best characters, some of the most memorable, even side characters like like Charlie or Dutch. Uh, Sadie. Um, yeah, Dutch. Like the, just some of these. In general, the Irish, the Irish guy. The Irish. Uh, Adam. Um, no. <laughs> it just always got it's Irish. It's like uh, it starts with the K. Is it Connor? Or something? Lenny. It wasn't Lenny, but Lenny was a good character. Lenny yeah, wasn't Lenny like one of the first like video game main video game characters to die during gameplay or something. That was Lenny. I don't know. Is that a thing? It was a big moment. <laughs> remember... It was like you know, the, 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 it was like this main character just died during gameplay, and like yeah, there's nothing you could do about it. Yeah. You were on the roof, yeah. Um, yeah. The Irish bloke um, always getting Sean or something. Yeah, he was. He was a part of the the guy, the other opposing faction that you like kidnapped basically and he was like a good lad he, yeah I, he grew on no, me he was it. kidnapped and then yeah then you bring him back no i think it was sean no no there was he was part of the gang he was like an irish bloke and he, oh i'm thinking of a different guy i'm thinking of a different the other irish guy oh, what happened it to becomes, him you kidnapped him didn't you and then what he gets do you want me to tell you he's the one that gets his head cut off and put inside of his stomach the guy that you kidnapped the guy yeah. That, yeah, the guy that And then the guy that I'm talking guy. about, he just he gets, gets shot, shot out of nowhere. Yeah. I remember saying like to Natalie like five minutes before, I was like, I really like this guy. And she yeah. I think she was a bit further than me and she was like, mm-hmm. I like, I like the idea. you just lead over like, Hey, I really like this guy. Yeah, what was <laughs> it? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's actually the guy you save. He's he's like hanging. You have to like cut him down or whatever. Yeah. I'd love to, to replay that game. To the argument. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about his fucking name? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I do agree. Red Dead has a better story. Uh, I'm going to vote for Red Dead overall. Daniel's going to vote for Red Dead. I I just love God of War, man. I think God of War might be my game of the gen. I don't, we'll discuss that after. But um, I think the combat mixed with the story, mixed with those moments that I was talking about earlier, uh, Kratos as a character, the Mimir stories, when you sat on the boat and just listened to his stories, stuff like that. So memorable to me. So, that weekend I had playing through that game was just... Was you did it in a weekend. weekend? I did, yeah. I, played, I, did, I did it pretty That fucking game, yeah. Uh, well, Red Dead Sims. took me like a month. Which I, you... I loved Red Dead too. I loved that month, that whole month where I was just a cowboy. What do you want to vote for, Sims? Time. So yeah, I'm voting for God of War. You gotta vote, Sims. You're the, the, the deciding, deciding choice. I don't like this. Things. This is too much pressure. It is. On There's you. only three of us. That's why. Pick a game. Pick a game. You can talk through it, Sims. Go ahead. What are you thinking? Man? I don't know. Like Red Dead, me like Red Dead hope to like like Red Dead. Whatever me. you like. This is this is very God of War. Watch. Like you know, at the moments where well, it's like I know what you're. I know like I feel that anger like with your son, like especially with the son, like just like yeah, when he's been a little shit and you're just like listen, you don't know nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like you have yeah. no clue what's going on in in out he's there. He's naive. He's a naive little kid. And then, but Red Dead, man, there's just a journey in it. Like, there's just moment yeah, to is. moment, like, deep, deep. There's so many meanings, so many layers to it. Like, you're going to have to pick. This is all on you. I don't like the pressure. It is a ton of pressure. My headset ran out of battery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just think I don't know. I, like I don't know because it's like God of War is like incredible, isn't it? Like there's so many moments in that game. Like the gameplay was great. Like the violence. Like you know the way they gone from that that game from just a hack and slash game to to a nothing game. Like you know, Connor's got to go soon. I oh, know he's so all. So we right. should 
we should wrap up soon. Uh, you, I'm, I'm not going to influence you. So you, uh, you, you need to be the one to pick. It's all on you. I know it's a lot of pressure. Is I don't. Can he hear me? I don't want him to. Can you hear hey, us? We'll, we'll tell him. Did he pick? I can't hear you. No, he didn't pick yet. He didn't pick yet. Fucking pick Sims. Pick Sims. Pick My, the game. The game. The Nerdic Gods game of this generation is Red Dead Redemption Two. Red Dead Redemption Two. He picked. He did. Okay, cool. And with that, that what was our winner? Someone Red Dead, Red, Red Dead Redemption Two. Red Dead Redemption Two. Okay, our winner is Red Dead Redemption Two. Uh, that'll be the end of our game, game of the generation show. Yay! The game of the generation. Yay! Dan Hauser, you are welcome to come on the show next week. We will be please. You and your brother. Bring so your brother. Much. Bring Sam. What like Daniel Sam. said, yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> no, <you can't> <laughs> yeah Anyways, that, that has been Nerd at Gods, episode 34. Thank you so much for watching. Please sure subscribe. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. I'm working hard at this shit. Uh, you know, if you're watching this uh, Game of the Generation video, thank you so much for watching that. Please feel free to click over to our other full podcast and uh, go watch that. Watch some of those episodes. Get those a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like I said. And with that, say goodbye, boys. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you very much.